Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today, we're gonna go to breakfast instead of lunch, and I'm here at Moke's Bread and Breakfast. And I'm at the Kaimuki location. I've been to the Kailua one a long time ago, and I enjoyed their breakfast, so I'm here. Hopefully you can see the sign. Anyway, I have some special guests today that I'm gonna meet, and I'll show them to you when we get inside. So, I'm excited. So we're here at Moke's Bread and Breakfast in Kaimuki, and we have my guests today. They came all the way from Houston, Texas. So it's Michelle and Jose from your YouTube channel, right? Yes. You guys go around Hawaii. Um, how long are you here for? We're just here till Saturday. So like, we've been here for about a week. We've been here for almost, yeah, just shy of a week. But like, why, why do you, what makes you come here often? The food. <laughs> like, yeah. when did you come here for the first time? Oh, I came here ooh, when I was a kid. We went to, uh, my my grandfather's from Hawaii. Oh, okay. And yes. so we came here for family reunion and weddings. Okay, cool. And then I got a black coffee, black for psychos. <laughs> and yeah, this presentation looks really awesome. This is the lily koi sauce, some powdered sugar, a little bit of, looks like orange peel. And I really can't wait to taste the chorizo. It's supposed to be a little spicy, so we'll see. Michelle got the same as I. Um, we both got the lily koi pancakes, which they're famous for, with uh, over medium eggs, but she got Portuguese sausage. I got their chorizo, which is made out of beef, and uh, the manager recommended it. Jose got the mokapu, right? Yeah. Do you remember what's in it? It's uh, Portuguese sausage, mushroom, green onions, cheese, and uh, it? All right. So, Portuguese sausage, I'm not sure if you can hear. It's really, really loud in here. Mushrooms, cheese, and hash browns. So that looks really awesome. All right, so I'm gonna try these lily koi pancakes. I haven't had them in a while. It's creamy. I like the whipped cream on there, but it's tart. But it's a good tartness. And it's really soft and fluffy. Wow, that um, chorizo. So I got chorizo. It's an upcharge. Um, the owner or manager, I'm not sure, she uh, told us about it. So I was curious. Usually um, you can get Portuguese sausage, bacon, or ham. But I wanted to upcharge and try this chorizo that she's talking about. It's got a nice char on it. But when you bite into it, it's not like chewy, like an American sausage or a Portuguese sausage. It just kind of crumbles in your mouth. And it's got a good spice. But I don't think it's very spicy, like as in heat. No, I think it's more like of a, you know, like cumin, like something like Mexican food, but not like jalapeno hot. It's got a lot of that kind of spice in there. Take a look at these eggs. They're perfectly cooked over medium. You can get them scrambled if you want or any way you want your eggs. And the pancakes are so light and fluffy. They are like little pillow clouds in your mouth with that nice tart and sweet lily koi sauce. Um, so what do you think about the food, guys? Or Michelle? We'll go with Michelle first. So I was very curious about the lily koi pancakes. I was wondering if the lily koi sauce was going to be like too tart, but I feel like it's just the right amount of tartness that it just, it was a really good flavor. And you were saying the pancake um, portion was perfect for you? Oh yeah, like, you know, you've been to places where you get pancakes and they're bigger than the plate. I just feel like I can't eat it all and feel like you know, it's a waste of food. 
but these are like perfectly sized, and the pancakes, they're super fluffy. And then it has the sausage. You got Portuguese sausage. Oh, the Portuguese sausage is just perfect. It's got like a nice, like, uh, the outer part where they grilled it. It's got that nice kind of like slight crunch, and then it's just a perfect amount of like savory with just, just a subtle amount of sweetness to it. Jose, how was your mokapu omelet? It was great. Um, the eggs were nice and fluffy. I got mine with Portuguese sausage. When you're here in Hawaii, it's kind of a must. Um, the mushrooms were nicely cooked. The one thing I really did enjoy, and I may be by myself on this one, I really enjoy my potatoes with skin on. Um, and so these are kind of like homemade style potatoes, which is great. They're actually very flavorful. Overall, I would totally get it again and come back here for this. Awesome. It's great. Nice. All right, so we're done um, filming here at Moke's Bed and Breakfast, and I got this awesome Texas, um, what would you call this? Like a card cutting board? Cutting board? Yeah. It's so awesome. And they're from Texas. They're from Houston, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yep, from Houston. Wait, let me flip it because um, <laughs> I can't fit all of you. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So I had an awesome um, breakfast with you guys. Thanks for yes. inviting me oh, out here. Oh, thank you very much. Thank oh, thanks you for much. meeting with us. Yeah. Yes, yes, so, exactly. Because I'm not really um, social. I mean, I'm social, but I'm, I don't really text other people like bloggers. So, mm -hmm. But if you do back to me, I'm really open to meeting. So thank you for even Oh, yeah, that. 100%. It was oh, fun. Sure. It's, it's cool. Telling me that you're on island. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's cool to see people that are, you know, vlogging here that are local. That kind of know the spots and the information it's just stuff that we get to soak up so it's really yeah. cool i mean we've taken your recommendations oh yeah hundreds of recommendations. and visited so many spots <laughs> because so. it's helped us enjoy like the things that you guys have uh, access to oh yeah 100 100 percent. Yeah, thanks so much i had an awesome time oh so did we so did we oh yeah you guys you guys yeah, are so did cool. we Thank All you right, so, so much. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. All right, thank, thank you. you. Bye. All right, bye. So please do check out and subscribe to Michelle and Jose's food and travel channel on YouTube. I'll put their um, link to their channel below in the description box. So check them out. And I had a great time with them, great conversation. Unfortunately, when I have great conversation with friends and interesting people, we don't vlog as much about the food. So hopefully you got a taste of the food. The manager and the owner wanted to talk to us in the beginning, but it became way too busy. And she said uh, she had apologies. She could not speak to us at the time because there was so many people walking in. And by the time we left, it started to get crowded. So um, she wanted to plug in that they have new items for lunch. So definitely go check them out for lunch. It's not just a breakfast spot anymore. So go down to Moke's. I really enjoyed the Kaimuki one better than the Kailua one. I think if you go a little early on a week day, if you have the chance, you can get seated right away. It's a little bit more intimate and the service was awesome. Uh, a lot of new good stuff like the chorizo sausage that they brought in was excellent and you still get the same delicious lily koi pancakes that they're known for so if you like this press the like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again on another food adventure next week peace out and take care i'm here in hawaii Nei with 20 mile per hour winds with 50 mile per hour gusts that mess up your hair and makes it wangas put on your gel Hang on to your wigs. This is advice from Trisha Takanawa of Quahog News. Now back to you, Sam.